Hello there, I'm Kafi Khan and welcome back to my Android tutorials. In the previous video, we saw how to connect to a device. In today's video, we'll see how to send and receive messages. So let's get started. So moving on to our main activity, let's set up our main activity UI part. So moving to our activity main, so we've got IDs for everything. So coming back to the main activity Java. Okay, so private. Let's create an instance of our list view here. So list view, let's call it list main chat. Similarly, let's create an instance for our edit text. So edit text ed create message and similarly for our button. So btn send message. Let's initialize these. So coming down here, let's create a small function. So private void init. So list main chat is equal to find view by id r dot id and list conversation. Similarly for ed create message. So find view by id r dot id and ed enter message. Similarly for button. So find view by id r dot id and btn send message. Okay, let's call this function here. So in it. So coming back here. So we need a uh, adapter for our list view so let's create one so private say array adapter of type string so let's call it adapter main chat so coming down let's initialize it here so adapter main chat is equal to new array adapter context and we'll be needing a message layout so let's use that so message layout Okay, let's set this adapter to our list view. So list main chat dot set adapter and adapter main chat. Okay, and we'll need to set an on click listener for our button. So let's do that. Set on click listener, new on click listener. Okay, so let's get our message here. So string message is equal to ed create message dot get text to string. Let's check if it's not empty. So message dot is not empty okay so if it's not empty here we will trigger our request to the chat utils so in chat utils we need to create another thread to handle all our sending and receiving of messages so coming down here let's create so private class let's call it connected thread and this will be a subclass of thread Let's create some member variables. So private, final, and Bluetooth socket. Let's call it socket. Similarly, private, final, input stream to handle the incoming messages. And similarly, output stream to handle the outgoing messages. And even this needs to be final. So let's set up the constructor. So public and connected thread. So this will require a Bluetooth socket. So let's pass that. Let's set up our socket is equal to socket okay and we also need to set up our input stream so let's do that so input stream let's call it tmp input is equal to null similarly for output stream let's call it tmp out is equal to null let's put it in a try cache block and initialize so tmp in is equal to socket dot get input stream and similarly for output socket dot get output stream okay let's handle the exceptions so io exception okay let's initialize our input streams so input stream is equal to tmp input and output stream is equal to tmp output okay so our constructor is ready so moving on to the run function so public void run so here we listen to the incoming stream so byte let's call it buffer is equal to new byte say 1024 bytes and let's create another variable which will represent the length of our byte so let's put it in a try catch block okay so here bytes is equal to input stream dot read let's read our buffer okay so let's catch the exception so io exception let's call it e 
we need to send this message to our main activity. So let's pass it via handler. So handler dot obtain message. So main activity dot read message. So let's pass our length. So bytes minus one. Let's pass our buffer and send to target. So moving on to our messages read. Let's handle it here. So coming here. So let's store the input buffer is equal to. So let's type cast our message object. Okay, so let's convert this into a string. So input buffer is equal to new string. So let's pass our buffer and no offset. Let's pass the length. So message dot argument one because we passed bytes that which was the length and let's add this to our adapter. So adapter main chat add. Let's add the device name connected device. Let's add a message here. Okay, so we're good to go. Okay, so moving back to our chat utils, let's handle the catch. So let's create a function connection lost, which will handle our breaking of connections. So connection lost. So we'll create a message. We'll send it to our main activity, informing that the connection is lost. So message is equal to handler dot obtain message. So main activity dot toast message toast. Let's create a bundle. So bundle new bundle let's pass our key value pairs so put string so our key is main activity dot toast and our value is connection lost let's pass this to our message so message dot set data and let's pass the bundle here and let's pass this message to our handler so handler dot send message and message and let's restart our chat utility so chat utils dot this dot start okay so moving back to our connected thread so let's add another function so public void write so this will bring in a buffer which will be sent to the device okay so let's put it in a try catch block so output stream dot write let's pass our buffer here and let's handle the exceptions so io exception okay so coming back in we need to notify our main activity so handler dot send message so main activity dot message write minus one no argument no argument let's pass a buffer and sorry this wouldn't be send message this is obtain message so buffer dot send to target so moving on to our message write so coming here let's handle it okay so byte let's call it buffer so let's type cast our message object to byte and let's convert it to a string so let's call it output buffer is equal to new string let's pass our buffer in here and let's add this to our adapter so adapter main chat dot add so this is sent by me so me plus output buffer and uh, it says buffer already exists so let's change this to buffer one and let's call this buffer one so moving back to our chat utils, let's define a cancel function also. So public void cancel. So here we'll just close our socket. So socket dot close and let's catch the exception. So IO exception and we're good to go. So let's add this connected thread as a member variable here. So private connected thread, let's call it connected thread. So let's initialize it everywhere. So moving to start. So if our connected thread is not equal to null, then connected thread dot cancel and connected thread dot is equal to null. So let's copy this because we'll be needing it a lot. So let's use it here. So use it here as well. So coming down to our so connected, let's use it here and let's restart. So connected thread is equal to new connected thread so this will require a socket okay and let's start it so start okay and that's it let's see where the socket is coming from so connected okay so it seems fine so let's create this another function right which will initiate all this sending messages so coming up here so let's create that function here so public void right so this will require a buffer of bytes so buffer and our connected thread let's call it con 
thread and synchronized this and okay so if let's check if our state is connected so if state is equal to is not equal to connected then we'll just return and if it is connected then we'll initialize this con thread with our connected thread okay and we'll pass the we'll call the write function so buffer okay so we're good to go coming back to our main activity let's call this write function so chatutils dot right let's pass our message here so message to get bytes okay and so if it's not empty let's just so once the message is said send we need to clear our edit text so let's clean that and we're good to go okay so let's run our application well our application is running so let's have a look so let's switch on the Bluetooth. Let's allow. Okay, so let's search for available devices. Okay, let's click on Kunal. Well, it's connected to Kunal. So let's send our message. And as you can see, it says sent. So let's send some message from the other device. So as you can see, it shows from Kunal, hello. And let's write yes. As you can see, we can send text from one device to another. So I sent from my device to Kunal's device. That's all we need to send messages and receive messages. So if you have any doubts, any queries so far, feel free to drop a comment and we'll go through it. Okay, bye-bye and take care.